Good morning. Just two quick tips for you big block Chevy guys. One for the go fast crowd and one for the restoration crowd. Uh, as you can see, I'm getting ready to put my oil pan on. And um, I discovered one thing I, I just never knew. Uh, as I was uh, getting ready to put my aluminum uh, timing chain cover on, because I have a cam button in there with a roller cam, was that the factory, which is what this is, the factory timing chain cover, is date coded. I don't know how well you can see this with my phone, but it's right there on the rail, which would normally sit behind the water pump, but I think if you know to look for it, you can look down and see it, you know, right above the timing tab. That's the 20th day of 1970. This is a, going in a 1970 Chevelle SS 454. And this has the separate, this is not the correct one, but this is the separate timing cover. The timing covers I've seen for the 396 have uh, an integrated uh, timing tab, which can break off, but this one has a separate one. Um, and so those factory covers that are date coded correct for the cars go for a pretty good chunk of change on eBay and it's nice that we have we discovered we had the right one so we sandblasted it and restored it now the other tip is I showed you before this block has a crank scraper which I glued down with black RTV to the pan rail and you can see that I'm using a one-piece gasket which is usually for the later model blocks like the Gen 6 block, and this is a Mark IV block, the early 1970. Um, and it's a great oil pan gasket, but the problem is if you try to use one with a crank scraper like I'm doing here now, they tend to want to leak. So what I do to, and this is steel impregnated, so you don't want to ask this to conform too much. You can see but my crank scraper has about a 30, it creates about a 30 inch step. A thirty thousandths of an inch step on the pan rail so I don't want to bend the steel inside this gasket so what I do is when I glue it down I make sure I put an extra blob, blob of RTV on the ends both sides and then I kind of try to feather it in so that it create, creates a ramp so that there's not too much of a step there and that'll help me prevent leaks with my crank scraper hopefully when the oil pan is bolted down we're going to run this in on a stand to make sure there are no leaks, but I really rather would not get back into it. I'm getting ready to kiss this bottom end goodbye. Okay, thanks guys.